muted. Hi there, I'm Mark Sebastian, founder of OptionPit.com, and this is the Volatility Report. Reminder, this is for educational purposes only. This should not be considered investment advice. Options carry risk. Consult the financial professional. Well, here we are. We're up big, right up to 2595 again. Remember, I said we could threaten 2600 this week. Happened a little faster than I was planning, but happened nonetheless. VIX back below 10. We discussed it might threaten a, a 10 handle this week. It is. Um, and you can see the entire complex is down. UVXY is down. VXX is toward 32. I, I mentioned in a note I put out that I could see VXX getting to 32. Um, UVXY I could see threatening 13 this week. I'm not kidding you. I know. Um, you know, uh, there's another leg to drop here if VIX stays here. Because you can see two points wide. I could see Dece getting to 11 and a half, 11, 11. 45 on Wednesday because you know think about it this way um, you know we have Wednesday then we have basically Thursday Friday Saturday off so we come back in Monday there's only one uh, you know 20 trading days you know actually less than that 5 10 15 18 trading days left so you're dealing with a VIX that will probably drop um, in the VIX future that'll drop. Now, uh, historically, volatility continues to stay low all the way through December 4th, the December 4th expiration. So that's something to be aware of, uh, is that, you know, volatility could really see some things. Now, if you look at the VIX futures complex, there's not a lot of prediction of great success out of the futures here uh, expected. Let me get this set up for you here. Come on. Muted. So if you look at the futures complex, you can see things are if anything, the Nova future, the Nova 22 future is a little bid, and they're really killing the Nova 29 future. Not a lot of edge there. So there's there's some interesting kind of uh, plays setting up there that make uh, you know the Nova 29s maybe look a little oversold relative to kind of everything else around here. But if you look at the futures complex, they are not predicting a lot, and that could actually draw the Nova the D's 20s in. Uh, you know, they're down sharply today. I could see them down more, even more, as the day rolls through. Uh, and certainly tomorrow, there's there's lots and lots of reason for downside. Um, you know, looking at bonds, you know, this rally has been met with a huge pop in uh, bond pricing. You know, bonds have really made a move. Take a look at bond vol, though continues to be firmer. So kind of looks like some uh, some people are a little wary of what they're looking at on this rally, as nice as it is. That's a nice pop. It's a breakout. You know, it's now gotten up to kind of about here. So next move up, and, and it's making a serious run at 130. So there there's some some funkiness going around here. Um, so. Yeah, bonds continue to be kind of weird. Meanwhile, gold, gold surprisingly strong. You know, we continue to to look for gold to be weaker. Um, I may, uh, as the day goes by, roll this back. So let's talk about AT&T. So AT&T Time Warner, I think it's TWX. Uh, that deal is being nixed. You can see it's actually rallying on that. So kind of an interesting, interesting that, uh, you know, the market kind of doesn't want them to merge. Uh, meanwhile, in the name of Fang, you know, I've been talking about these low vols in some of these names. They're getting really, really, really stupid cheap out to the first of the year. Premiums in Facebook, in Apple. 
and you know other names like that where where things really do look inexpensive in my point in my opinion you see apple having a nice update today um muted i mean apple options are really cheap the stock's up nicely today um i may have been long some calls going into this move uh and by that i mean i was definitely long calls going into this move but part of that was because the premium was just so cheap and i had dumped out of um a, a straddle i'd been in um so I, you know, and I still think the ball's the, the ball's going to be too cheap. So, um, you know, I, I think that all of these names look like there is uh, definitely some money to be made in there. You can see part of the reason why we're up so much is because Apple is is killing it today. So. Uh, and you know they're going to drive things, but those these premiums in Apple are really cheap. 14 expiring this week, and really inexpensive all the way through January. So there's some there's some volatility premium I think to harvest today, so or to buy that I'm I'm going to try and spread off and and do some interesting things with. Um, you know, like I said, I think there's there's money to be made out there. You just have to go out and get it. Uh, and t this is a period of time where you can find some of those those opportunities sometimes. All right. So for those of you that have questions, you can email me, mark at optionpit.com, or you can call me 888 trade zero one. Hope everybody has a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Have a great uh, morning.